Mr. Tell You How It Is has found a talking point again about what's wrong with someone else, how they never could be friends. I had misgivings about hate speaker as a jelly brick song. A lot of people will tell you everything they think about everything that's going on. Some people's opinions about it are mean. I was compelled to write that song. And those are some of my favorite kinds of songs, the ones that I feel forced to write because I have, a, it's like an itch that needs to be scratched. I think we all have, you know, friends on social media or even, you know, in real life that just always want to tell you what's wrong with everything. And uh, after a while, that just sort of gets uh, exhausting. As a, you know, to listen to that all the time. And I think Larry hit it out of the park with that song. And there was also an election that was going on at the time when, uh, you know, I, when he wrote the song. Uh, and that just blew up Facebook and Twitter and all these things. And Larry just, I think, got fed up and just wrote this song and just said, you know, you, I, no one wants to hear you, no one's gonna, no one wants to hear you. No one wants to, like, be your friend or, or be interested in what you're saying. Because you're allowed to have your opinions, but for you to just throw up all over everyone isn't really fair to everyone, you know? Sometimes you should just sort of shut up about your opinions. I wasn't initially sure if it was a Jelly Bricks song, but as soon as they heard it, they loved it, and it became a Jelly Brick song. And uh, in fact, I, it's one of the biggest surprises for me on this record that that song is there. Bryce has used the term that it's a very majestic sounding song, and I, it's one of my favorite songs on the record. No one wants to hear you. 